Hafede Guahu C. Janice Hernandez, Ms. Coco Lazoki, Universidad Guahan. Hernandez is currently a freshman, majoring in secondary education with a focus on Chamorro studies. She's been attending the Harao Academy for a little over 11 years. And while she says the culture and language was not that present in her household growing up, that all changed when she joined Harao when she was only six years old. It was because of Harao that the language became immersed in my family and that was pretty much the reason why my family speaks Chamorro now. Currently, the Santa Rita resident works at Harao as a teacher's assistant. Spending time with the kids almost every day, teaching them, being here, I could impact the lives of the little kids and even the adults that are taking classes here. She also sings and plays the guitar. It's become a new goal of mine to start translating uh, English to Chamorro songs. So like a lot of us here at Harao, we, after class, we'll get together and find a random song and we'll just translate it for fun and see how it sounds. Hernandez said the reason why she decided to immerse herself in the language is because it's dying. It's uh, definitely becoming harder because language is constantly evolving. So a lot of people, they're there's like a clash of ideas because there's so many dialects, so many different ways to say certain things. So if there's no agreement, then it becomes more complicated. And then the language, you just, I, I see it because it, it gets frustrating for me. So then the language is just, it's struggling. When asked if she had a role model when it comes to the culture. I definitely feel that all the teachers I've had here at Harao over the 11 years that I've been here, I feel like they've all really helped me and really uh, made me the person I am. They've all contributed to, how I, to the person I am today. And does Hernandez believe enough is being done? I feel like every day there's always that one person that's making a small change with the language and culture. Um, but I feel like there's always more that can be done. The message she has for her generation? I think it would just be to not be mamalo, to not be ashamed, to learn your culture and to learn your language because I know a lot of people that feel that they'll be judged if they, if they try or if they attempt to learn the language so then they just they avoid it. So I think just it's just to step out of your comfort zone and to just try